Hi, this is Danny from dannysdesigns.com and in today's tutorial I wanted to show you how to make this really cute thank you card. It features a couple of different stamp sets. First it's the Thankful Forest Friends. I use this sentiment right here. This is from the new um, uh, winter catalog, Christmas catalog, however you want to call it. This Vintage Leaves stamp set is in the regular catalog and it also has a coordinating set of framelits that come together. If you buy them at my store you get 15% off uh, when you buy this and the set of framelits together. And then of course I'm using the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set just for this little speckled image right there. Okay, so the base of my card is five and a half by eight and a half and I have it scored at four and a quarter and this color of cardstock is Delightful Dijon. It's one of our brand new in colors. Okay, fold it in half and now I'm just gonna set it aside because we have lots of stamping and decorating to do. Okay, for the card, you're going to need two pieces of, this is Rich Razzleberry, this measures four and five eighths by three and three eighths. Two of these, two pieces of very vanilla cardstock, this measures four and a half by three and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started, I can set this one aside, by stamping all the leaves. So the first one I'm starting with is this big leaf and Cajun Craze ink and I found that when mounting these leaves on the blocks it's a lot easier if you angle them to the side so the stem is going along the diagonal rather than trying to put this this way on a block it would hang off and you have to get a block that's way too big. So just try turning them on an angle and they work a little bit better. Okay, so go ahead and ink this up. Like I said this is the Cajun Craze ink we want these going off the edges of the paper in all kinds of directions, just kind of fill it up. Put one here, put another one up in this corner. And because this is a smaller piece of cardstock, I only have room for about two images, um, two of each of the leaf images. So let's close this one up. Okay, next we're gonna grab the next uh, largest leaf and our delightful Dijon ink. here, another one up in this corner, okay. Next I have Tangerine Tango, I'm going to put, oops, got a smudge right there, didn't even realize that. Okay, we'll just go ahead and co cover it up with the leaf, you can't even tell that's there. And we'll put a hint of one peeking out right here. And last, we have this little teeny tiny leaf image and our chocolate chip ink. I'm going to put one of these guys up here and maybe a little one peeking out right here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and bring back in the delightful Dijon ink because I want to add some splatters and speckles to it. Just going to ink it up and just stamp it randomly all over right on top of the leaves. And remember, we got a big sentiment in the middle, so you don't have to worry too much about covering that up. And I actually think that's pretty good. Okay, next we're going to need a sponge with our delightful Dijon ink, and we're going to sponge all around the edges here. Now this piece is done, and we'll set that aside for the moment. Okay, next we need a piece of scrap, very vanilla cardstock, and our Give Thanks image from the Thankful Forest Friends stamp set. And I'm using three markers, Old Olive, Chocolate Chip, and Rich Razzleberry. And you always want to use the, well, for this part, you want to use the um, brush tip. And I'm going to ink up the word Give Thanks in Rich Razzleberry. Make sure all those letters are covered. Okay, with the old olive, whoops. Get the berries and the leaves. Okay, 
and with the chocolate chip, we'll color in that little acorn. Okay, the ink may have dried, so give it a huff. And stamp that. In order to cut that out, we're going to be using our Deco Label Framelits, and we're going to be using the size right here. Okay, so you're going to need your magnetic platform, a clear sheet, or cutting pad, I should say, your cardstock. Ooh, the magnet's making it jump. Get that centered exactly where you want it. I like to try to make sure I have the leaves on about the same part of the curve on the top and the bottom. Top sheet on and run that through the big shot. Okay, and that's just going to pop right on out. And then last, I have my Rich Razzleberry ink and I'm going to sponge around the edges. Give it a little color there. Okay, and now it's time to assemble everything. So I got this layer. I'm gonna, where's my adhesive? There we go. I'm gonna add some adhesive here. Layer that on top. Now I have a scrap, uh, it's not a scrap, Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And this one measures, let's see, I think this is one inch by four and a half. Okay. Put some adhesive right on the back of that. And I'm going to lay this right across the middle of, the, of that center panel. You can eyeball it or you can measure it out if you'd like. Okay, this is my scrap of Rich Razzleberry, and I have my two and a half inch circle punch. And I'm going to punch one out. Okay, and if you try to put this behind here, you'll see it's about exactly the same size. And I wanted to have a little bit of it showing, so what I did was I took my scissors and I just cut it in half. I didn't measure anything, I just did it about in half. And then I put some adhesive on the back in the middle. And then I just laid it out like that, decided how much I wanted showing, and I just attached it to the top and the bottom of this piece, making sure that about the same, whoops, about the same amount of showing on the bottom and the top. There we go, just to give a little bit of accent. And they're not lined up on the back, but you know what, nobody's gonna see that. Okay. Now you're going to center it on the card and I use these two points as guides to get that in the center of the strip like that. Press it into place. Add some adhesive on here and I'm going to add that to the front of my card. Get it nice and centered so all the edges are even around. Okay, now I did tell you earlier that you needed two pieces of the Rich Razzleberry. Here's the other piece uh, for the middle. Again, this one measures four and five eighths by three and three eighths. This very vanilla measures four and a half by three and a quarter. And to save time, I went around and sponged with the delightful Dijon ink. So I'm gonna add some adhesive here. And I sponged around there so it'd coordinate with the front of the card. And last, I have two more pieces. This is a rich Razzleberry piece measuring one inch by three and a quarter. And this little teeny piece of very vanilla measures seven eighth by three and a quarter. And I did the same thing. I stamped some of these images on here, added my speckles and sponged around the edge. They're both the same length, so you just wanna make sure you have a nice border on the width going this way, but they sh they're the same length here. And I just put this, I don't know, about three eighths of an inch, quarter inch, however much you want, just over to the left side of the card. 
add some more adhesive, place that on the inside of the card, and there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you want to purchase any of the products that I use to uh, make these cards, I'll have a link to my website below. You can check out my store, and uh, if you want a catalog, just let me know. I'd be happy to send you one. Thanks so much for stopping by.